Hi guys, it is Caitlin, and today's video is another portfolio video. I am wearing the same clothes as I did in the last one, but whatever, because I wanted to film it on the same day. Um, did I already say what it was? It's gonna be watercolor. Um, I'm not really, I'm not all here right now. I'm kind of out of it. But, let's get started. I am definitely not claiming to be an artist. Well, I, I mean, I'd say I'm an artist, but I'm not like a master. Like, painting is not my strong suit in any way, shape, or form. So I just wanted to get that clear to you guys. I'm not claiming that I'm the best artist in the world. Um, I'm all about improvement, and anytime there are you know, I always think you have room for improvement no matter how good you are at anything. So that's just kind of how I look at it. And like I said, painting is just not something that I'm like super, super good at. I like sculptural, can't talk either. I like sculpture or 3D a lot more. Um, but I think that art is interwoven and that if you know how to do one thing, it will help you in another area. So yeah, I'm going to start with the first paintings that I did in watercolor and kind of like progress until the final to show you guys my progression and I do feel like I definitely improved over the semester. Um, we started off with um, just ink, just ink and water. Um, watercolor is definitely a medium that you need to be really like patient with. You need to be so patient with it. Um, and yeah, we, he just set up a still life. If you guys don't know what a still life is, it's just a bunch of objects basically on a table and then everybody paints it or draws it or whatever. It's not really coming up very good on camera, but like I said, this was the first one that I did. It was a ball and some like triangle geometric shapes. But yeah, it's not really coming up very good on camera. Um, but I mean, you know, it's, like I said, I'm just showing you the progression. I'm not saying that these are amazing or anything. This is the second one that I did. I feel like it's a little bit better. The camera is so washing this out right now, but hopefully I'll have like little clips playing. Here I did some random studies of objects. Again, it's washing it out, but yeah. Here is another still life. We had a mannequin in the background and just some objects, you know what I mean? Just basic stuff. I feel like, you know, as I went on, I started improving. So we started moving on to color. Um, we did a lot. I don't feel like I have that many pieces to show you just because we did so many different like little kind of studies or like just like um, exercises and stuff like that. Um, that's a lot of what we did. So I don't have like a lot of pieces, but that's okay. Um, we went into our museum in the school and there was a sculpture of a bear there and I wanted to paint it So this was the first one that I did. This one was really quick. Um, I just kind of did it as fast as I could to be honest just to um, Not think about it too much because I do struggle with watercolor and I kept getting frustrated So I'm like, I'm just gonna do it really fast. I'm okay with the way it turned out. I like this one a little bit more This is like the full body um bear with the baby right there kind of looks like a like a dog or something but it's a bear um yeah I'm a little bit more proud of this one I, I like this one um it's, it, it could be better obviously like I just said there's always room for improvement but from where I was at I was proud of this one I'm also pretty proud of this one as well this is a skeleton this was actually the first skeleton I ever painted or drew or anything like that so I think it turned out pretty well I was pretty intimidated by all of the bones and the proportions and everything but I think I did a decent do job like I'm not trying to be like I one of my pet peeves you guys is when people like my artwork is so good that drives me nuts so I'm not trying to be like that at all I know that there's room for improvement like I said um but like I said I'm, I'm proud of this so I feel like I should have the right to say that I am proud of it um so this was the first skeleton that I did and then the second one I got kind of a weird pose it was from the back but um you know it, I again I'm, I'm pretty proud of this one I like the hat um but yeah um, this one is very rough. I was kind of going for a non-blended, really, I don't know, I don't really like it, but my teacher thought it was okay. I got a 94 on it, which is pretty good, actually. Um, another still life, but in full color, painted them, I painted the objects as they were, what color they were. Um, again, the camera's washing it out, but, um, yeah, there was a guitar and some bottles and some fruit, but it's really rough. It's not smooth, it's not blended. Um, which, you know, some people really like that look, some people don't. I don't really care. You know, it was a new thing to try. That's what I did. I just did it to try it out. Then I have two self-portraits of myself. One of them I actually really like, and the other one, I don't, I don't know about it. But I'm going to show you it anyway, because art is about failures and, um, improving. So, I keep saying improving, like, shut up, Caitlin, we get it. Okay, this is the first one that I did, and I really enjoy this one. Um, 
But yeah, he said for the self portraits, we don't, it doesn't have to be realistic. You could do it realistic, but I chose to do it blue because blue is my favorite color. It kind of gives like a spooky vibe, but um, I enjoy that. I like kind of darker, more thought provoking pieces. Um, but yeah, and then the second one I did, I really don't like this one. I think I look, my literally my boyfriend comes up to me and he's like, you know, I love you, but you look like Sid from Ice Age. But this is the second one that I did, um, that it's driving me nuts. The camera is making it look so washed out. Anyway, um, I think my proportions are off. Especially in the forehead and the, and the nose is too long, but you know, I mean, I like the different angle that I did it at and you know, I tried it, that's what matters. I tried to do something different and I tried a different um, angle and whatnot, so um, yeah. The final project was to take, um, to do four mini ones and take an object and progressively as the piece goes at each different, um, different one, you would make it more abstract. I really, I, I enjoyed it because I've never done abstraction before so I'm not very good at it, but it was a learning experience and I definitely feel like um, if I could do it a second time I would do it a little bit better, but you know, whatever. I'm going to share with you. I really like the first one that I did which was the eyeball. Um, I know eyeballs are really cliche and everything, but I really thought I could do something cool with it. I mean, I think I had the right idea, but my progressions between pieces are really like different. Like this is the first one. This is the second one. So it's really, this one's really abstract. I added some orange in there. It's very flattened. Yeah, it's a lot different. And then this is my third one, which I don't like this one at all, but this is the second one. This is the third one. Um, as we went, my teacher was like, as you go on to abstraction, make sure you pay attention more to formal elements, meaning line, shape, basic, basic principles of art and not like volume or perspective or anything like that. You want to focus on line and shape and color, basic things of art. But I was just trying to make this one very flat and very like just focused on the line, my, my eyelashes being really flat lines. That's kind of where I was going with it. And then this is my last one that I did. And this is the eyeball really close up. Like if you go in, this is the pupil. Is that what it was called? I literally don't know. And then this is like the veins in your eyes. So I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. But um, I think I could have done it better because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could have done it better. So um, that was actually it for my watercolor. I've only done one class in watercolor and it was an intro class. So keep that in mind. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want some more portfolio videos. I have a lot of other artwork that I would love to show you guys. Um, but yeah, just let me know if that's something you're interested in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is the first one and this is the last one that I did. So I definitely think that there was a huge improvement. Um, so yeah, but we'll get to that. So this is the first one. I hope.